Parents nowadays are reading lots about vaccinations, some of it factual and some less so. So this week, I thought I'd take my best shot at doing some myth busting when it comes to separating the vaccine fact from the vaccine fiction. Before I start, I do want to remind everyone of the key fact that vaccines help prevent many serious infectious diseases and save lives. Yet many parents are concerned because they've heard that a child's immune system will be weaker if they get vaccinated or get multiple vaccines at one visit. Well, this isn't true. Many studies show that the body's immune system stays strong after a vaccine and can rev up to keep your child healthy if the germ we vaccinated your child against invades their body. In fact, being vaccinated to one disease does not weaken your child's ability to respond to another disease. So if you can immunize to multiple diseases at once, the sooner and more effectively your child is protected from those life-threatening infections. Another myth is that a child will get the disease from a vaccine that's supposed to prevent that disease. Well, if the vaccine is made with killed parts of the germ we're trying to protect your child from, but not the whole germ itself, then it's impossible for your child to get that disease. If it's made from a weakened or mild live form of a virus, like the chickenpox or measles vaccines, then it's extremely rare to get that disease. But if so, and your child's immune system is otherwise normal, it will be a very mild form, much less severe than getting a full-blown case of measles or chickenpox. Some parents feel they need not vaccinate their child since their children are healthy and since other children are vaccinated in the community. Well, that would protect them. Not true again, since each child who goes unvaccinated increases the chance that a life-threatening germ will be able to spread. In fact, this is what's happened over the past few years in communities all over the country who have seen decreases in their vaccination rates and significant increases in outbreaks of whooping cough, measles, and mumps. Hopefully, tips like this, and not just sharp needle tips, will demystify, demystify you so you have a better understanding of why vaccinations are one of the most important things you can do to keep your children healthy. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to keep your kids vaccinated and to always be first with your kids. <laughs>